This is a video description of the Rolls MX410. It's a four-channel field or ENG type mixer. Uh, we'll start with a description on the back of the unit. And uh, looking at the back, starting from the right-hand side and working to the left, you'll see that there's a channel 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, those are XLR inputs, of course, for a microphone. Uh, all four of them are locking. Uh, next to that is a uh, auxiliary input. Uh, that is a 3.5 millimeter tip ring sleeve stereo input. Uh, inputs that can be used for that are, are from like an iPod or possibly a computer input to uh, mix with the microphones for an overall mix to your camera. Uh, next to that is the output section. And the output section consists of uh, two uh, XLRs, a right and a left, of course, uh, and then uh, further over on the left is a 3.5 millimeter output. Uh, one of those outputs should match up to your camera. Um, there is a uh, mic line switch uh, in between the two XLRs, and this is to uh, pad the signal down uh, so that you'll be able to go into your camera at the appropriate level. Uh, most cameras with uh, automatic gain control, uh, this uh, is a very useful switch in, in, in attaining the proper level to go into your camera. Next to that is the power on and off switch. Pretty straightforward. The uh, the MX410 includes uh, a power supply uh, and can be plugged into the 12 volt DC input. It's called a Rolls PS27 power supply. Uh, going to the side of the unit, uh, that is the bank for the two 9 volt batteries. Um, the power, the power to the unit can be uh, off of two 9 volt batteries or of course the, the 12 volt DC to supply. Uh, going to the front of the unit, uh, we'll start from the left and work to the right. Uh, from the left side you have channel 1 volume. Uh, next to that is the uh, left center and right switch. Uh, for the appropriate mic plugged into channel 1, uh, you'll of course have the volume uh, and the choice of having it uh, sent to uh, the left, the right, or the center, which would be both left and right. Uh, channel 2, 3, and 4, uh, just repeat what's on channel 1. The power LED, of course, indicates when power's on. Uh, the headphone section is for uh, monitoring the overall mix uh, through a pair of headphones uh, so that you'll know exactly what is being sent to your camera, most cameras. Uh, it's very hard to actually tell the monitoring input, so the headphone out, in essence, is a way to monitor exactly what type of mix that you have in getting the appropriate levels from one, uh, one microphone to the next. Uh, it's, of course, a uh, pretty straightforward 8-inch uh, tip ring sleeve stereo jack uh, with a level control and uh, left-right uh, indication meters to let you know uh, what level you're at. Uh. And um, moving to the last side of the unit, you'll notice a 8-position dip switch. The uh, uh, dip switches control uh, individual phantom power and low cut for each channel. Uh, the uh, uh, low cut filter is 100 hertz uh, to uh, cut unwanted uh, wind noise in certain applications. And uh, as mentioned before, the uh, Rolls MX410 comes with an included power supply. It also includes its own carrying case uh, with a shoulder strap. For more information on the Rolls MX410, go to our website at www.rolls.com where you can download the manual, view the data sheet, and review all the specifications online.